There are eight key signs that can help you spot a phishing scam, and that's what we're here to explore today. So buckle up as we dive into the eight ways to identify a phishing scam. First off, scrutinize the sender's email address. Phishing scams are crafty, often using addresses that seem legitimate but contain subtle alterations. Is there an extra letter, number, or symbol that seems out of place? Maybe the domain name is slightly misspelled, or a commonly used email client is replaced with a less known one. These are all red flags. Remember, legitimate businesses and organizations usually use professional, consistent email addresses. So, a closer look at the email address can save you from falling into the trap. Secondly, spot the spelling and grammar errors. Ever noticed how phishing emails often contain glaring spelling and grammar mistakes? That's no accident. These errors are usually a result of hasty and mass production of these fraudulent messages. So when an email is riddled with mistakes, it's a red flag. Scammers may not prioritize perfect English, but professional organizations do. They take pride in their communication and are meticulous about their language. Remember, professional organizations rarely make such errors in their emails. Thirdly, beware of unfamiliar greetings. Phishing scams often play the numbers game, sending out mass emails in the hopes of reeling in a few unsuspecting victims. To do this, they typically use generic greetings like dear customer or hello user instead of addressing you by your name. This is because they simply don't know it. It's a subtle sign, but one that can tip you off to a potential scam. So an unfamiliar greeting could be a red flag. Fourthly, be alert of requests for personal information. Phishing scams are notorious for this. They'll craft cunning emails, weaving in requests for sensitive details. They may ask for your passwords, bank account numbers, or even social security details. But remember, it's a trap. They're aiming to trick you into handing over your precious data. So whenever you see such requests coming through an email, treat it with suspicion. Legitimate organizations will never ask for such sensitive information via email. Fifthly, watch out for urgent or threatening language. Phishing scams often manipulate emotions to trick us into responding quickly without thinking. They may claim your account is at risk or that your immediate action is required to prevent some dire consequence. This heightened sense of urgency is meant to cloud your judgment, causing you to act impulsively and fall for the scam. Remember, legitimate entities usually provide a reasonable time frame to respond. So, any email that pressures you to act immediately should be treated with caution. Sixthly and seventhly, be cautious of suspicious links and attachments. Now, phishing scams often come with the added bonus of suspicious links or attachments. These aren't the kind of bonuses you want, trust me. They could be laced with malware that, once downloaded, can wreak havoc on your system or they may lead you down the rabbit hole to fraudulent websites designed to steal your information. You might see a link that looks legitimate, but a closer look might reveal subtle differences. Maybe a misplaced character or a .com that should be a .net. These are crafty tricks used to fool you into thinking you're clicking on something safe. As for attachments, they're a whole other can of worms. They might seem innocent, like a Word document or a PDF file, but once opened, they can unleash malicious software onto your device. The key takeaway here, if something seems off, it probably is. Remember, when in doubt, do not click. Finally, look out for unusual email designs. Phishing scam artists often lack the resources and skills to replicate an organization's official email template perfectly. You might notice jumbled layouts, mismatched fonts, or poor image quality, Maybe the email looks nothing like what you're used to receiving from a trusted source. These inconsistencies can act as a telltale sign that you're dealing with a scam. Don't let a scammer's poor design skills compromise your security. So, an unusual email design could be the final red flag. Now that we've gone through the eight ways to spot a phishing scam, let's quickly recap. Remember to check the email address closely and look out for any spelling or grammar mistakes. Be wary of unfamiliar greetings and any requests for your personal information. Don't fall for urgent or threatening language and be sure to double check any suspicious links or attachments. Lastly, any unusual email design should raise a red flag. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and remember these tips next time you receive a suspicious email. Thanks to the G-Man channel for a very useful video on phishing. Be careful out there.
If you like this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. See you again soon.